Hey guys, why would we spend our hard-earned money hiring an expert like a plumber to do the plumbing in our RV when we could do it ourselves? We're going to help you embrace the next chapter of your life by showing you how to simplify your life, explore your dreams, and connect with what truly matters. I wanted to shoot a quick video for you guys today and just uh, show you guys how to remove and update the sink in your RV. A lot of times when you get uh, an RV, the sinks they put in here, they're just really not compatible. They don't really look great. Some of them are just plastic. So we're going to do a quick video here and show you the easy, quick way how to remove this sink and then how to get a new one in. Okay guys, one of the first things I advise you to do is to get up under your sink and look at what you got going on here. Uh, because every RV, every uh, manufacturer does things a little bit differently. You wanna take a look and see it at what, you know, what might be attaching your sink to the countertop or to the plumbing. So for example, you know, on our RV, we had these little clamps. There was a bunch of clamps um, basically going around the sink that kind of attaches the, the sink or at least keeps it tight down on the countertops. So you may have to go and, uh, and take these off first before you start doing any of your work. So the next step you want to get into is pretty simple. And you look at, you have basically, we, this is a double sink. So we've got two different plumbing attachments here. And all you want to do, you may have to get a, a vice grips or, um, you know, a, uh, some sort of uh, pliers or whatever to loosen these things up because they may be tight. But you just go in and you loosen, loosen up your attachments here to your sink. And then um, the next thing you want to do is you can see in the back here, you've obviously got um, two attachments. Red is for hot, blue is for cold. Um, and you want to go in there and, uh, you know, basically um, unscrew these from the faucet and again if I didn't say this already make sure up front you turn all your water supplies off turn your water pump off make sure there's no water um, before you start this and then once everything's off I recommend turning your faucet on you know to get just just to get that last little bit of water that may be in the line or in the hose out so next thing you do is simply unscrewing your hot and your cold Okay guys, now that you have um, everything is detached, all your uh, pipes are detached, your hot and your cold water is detached, pretty much that at that point the sink should be pretty much ready to come out and I can probably, you can see my sink's loose now. One last little step we want to do up on the countertop um, and, and then we should have this thing out and we're ready to go. You may see that you're going to have, um, you're going to have some caulking or some seal around the edge so all you want to do Take a utility knife and just kind of go around. You can see mine's already popping up. Kind of just loosen up that seal. Okay guys, once you have everything uh, loosened up, all your pipes are loosened up, you've got your caulking seal broken. Uh, basically, things should just come out. So let's give it a try. There we go, no water leaking, nothing spraying out. I think that's a success. Hey guys, wanna give you guys a quick update because we, we promised you guys we would be honest and transparent as we went through this process. So in this plumbing process, this was the one thing I thought, it's it's simple, it's plumbing, you, you, you know, put some pipes together, how hard could this be? But what we've realized really quickly is that RV or motorhome plumbing is very different than in-home plumbing. Um, so for example, we spent, I don't know, days and days trying to figure out the right size or the adapter to make um, plumbing fit with what we had at our local hardware stores. And what we found out was that the plumbing on our RV is one and one fourth, one and a quarter inch ABS plastic where almost everything for sinks is one and a half or uh, one inch or things like that. And nobody even stocked the one and a quarter inch ABS uh, plastic 
RV or, or plumbing fittings for an RV. So we spent a lot of time at the big box stores, Home Depot, Lowe's, all the hardware stores locally, and nobody even had the right adapters and components to where we could do the plumbing. So what we had to do finally is just break down and we had to order a part online um, to be able to finish our plumbing. But a lesson learned here, guys, is you really need to understand that. We didn't. Uh, I know there's probably some plumbers out there that are like, yeah, of course you idiot. Um, I figured that we could just get an adapter, that it had to be something simple, but no hardware stores had it. We had to order it online. So lesson learned there, guys. So as you guys can see, this is not pretty <laughs> by any means. I'm sure there's probably some plumbers out there that are like, what are you doing there? But the problem we ran into, like I said, is this is one and a quarter inch ABS plastic coming in. That's our main water line for the motorhome. And then we had to somehow transition that to one and a half inch so we could get it to adapt and fit into our sink. So after weeks and weeks of trial and error, this is finally what we got to work and that's what's gonna work out for us. Again, if you guys have any suggestions or comments, maybe you know a better way to make this work, uh, this is what we could find because nobody had this stuff uh, in, in supply. Nobody even uh, carried this stuff. It had to be all ordered online to be able to get this. So if you've got any suggestions or comments, uh, we'd really appreciate your advice on this. Okay, as you guys can see, it's not, we're not 100% finished yet. I still have to put the faucet on, but we did finally get the sink in. We got the right plumbing in after uh, days and days. It's way too long what it should have took to get the plumbing in, but we did get it in. Everything's in. Big sink. My wife wanted the big sink. Takes up a lot of counter space, I know, but that's what the missus wanted, so that's what we went with. Uh, stay tuned, and we'll, we'll get the faucet on, and then we'll show this thing complete. working. I'm loving my new sprayer too. Um, and there's no leaks down below. So I encourage you, if you missed our last video of installing our custom countertops, I encourage you to check it out right here.